2007, filming Professor Israel in a walkthrough after the decision to merge the three Orthodox synagogues in Springfield. We'll introduce everybody. We'll all introduce ourselves. Ten years ago. What happened to the older one? Curtain. Um, Thirty years old. So what happened to it? Where is it now? Yeah. No, no. You don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. It's um, history has funny turns. Uh, this particular building was originally built by Congregation Kadima, and then, as this was in the 1920s, and then as time marched on, as 1960 approached, they wanted something more modern, and I believe the reason why. Kadima left this building and built a few blocks away was because at that time they could get no property around this building to expand. They wanted to build classrooms and some kind of a activity room for the children. They did not have it and they ended up building a new building. Today things would be a little bit different, but in any case that's what was done. Uh, when the building was first built, they didn't have enough money to build the whole building, so this was the original structure right here. And for a couple of years they prayed downstairs in this room. As the uh, money was raised and the architects had all of the, as you see upstairs, the imported, whether it was the stained glass or the, the uh, marble that was necessary, when those things came together a few years later, the upstairs was completed. Uh, this room itself is our daily uh, area sanctuary where we pray, the chapel. Uh, nowadays, when the upstairs, which is not air conditioned, and the heating is very costly, so it was very hot or very warm. We prayed down here as well on the Saturday, on Sabbath as well. Uh, for many years, this was the main social hall for Jewish events in the community. Weddings were here, and by the amount of people who said they were at the weddings, there must have been seven or eight hundred people <laughs> that came to these weddings. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but this was, I mean, this was the room. The ceiling was not dropped at that time. It was a little bit higher, maybe look a little bit bigger. But, I mean, there are many, many, many people that have large weddings in this room, serviced by a not very large kitchen uh, that's right off of this room. So, again, this is the, the sanctuary that we use every day. It is also the breakfast hall where we have dinners or things. It's all, all takes place in this room. There is a, like I said, a smaller kitchen there. There's a small office there. And two bathrooms on the other side of the hallway on this floor. Um, it can seat... Uh, not too bad. If you're, if you're very friendly, you can have about 250 people down here, <laughs> and uh, we, everything goes well. So this is this is the first floor. All right, maybe we'll we'll go upstairs because it is a. Oh, no, up. It is. It, it, yeah, we'll have to look for the balcony. Hey, then we can go down there. Go ahead. some women who only want to come up here because there are not that many synagogues where you can come and have the balcony view and, and that feel that there is. In the front is 
That is the ark where the Torah scrolls are kept, and that's special kinds of marble. That was, uh, that was one of the things that they were waiting for in the 1920s when they were opening up the synagogue. And that's a special piece in and of itself. All of the stained glass is the original stained glass. There's a few that are, are broken, but basically there's all the original. The chandelier is the original, and all of this kind of work is, is something that is, uh, is pretty unique. Uh, the story is that when this synagogue was to be built, there had been some members who had been to Amsterdam, and there was a similar uh, congregation in Amsterdam, a similar type of building, and people came back, and in different communities, they built synagogues styled along that type of synagogue that was there. And it's, a, it's an architectural feat for those understanding architecture to have a, a balcony this size. There are no poles down to obstruct any any views below, and this was a, a tremendous feat to be able to build it at that time. So it is a, it's just a, an astonishing feeling in this room, and praying here on the Sabbath or holidays or the high holidays, when there's a few hundred people here, it it's just creates a mood and an atmosphere that is, that is very special. Any questions about the sanctuary itself? Yeah? Where did that marble come from? Uh, I believe Italy. That's what I remember hearing that it was Italian marble. Yeah? How old was it built? In the 1920s it was built. So probably 80 years old. You have two here, one is for reading Torah and one is for the. Correct, correct. The one where the, the Torah is read actually, technically, it should be really right in the center of the building, center of the room. And uh, for whatever reason, it was, it was put there. But the ideal place, it is modeled after how things were in the temple in Jerusalem, where the main altar was in the center of the room. So, technically, it should be in the center. All the way in the center, so right about here? Uh, yeah, or, yeah, or like underneath where the chandelier is. But. What can you tell us about the chandelier? It's lovely. I'm sorry, but I, I don't know the details. Okay. It, was, it, it was custom made by, I believe, someone locally, but I, I don't, don't remember the details. It is very difficult to change the bulbs, that I can tell you. <laughs> as you can see, this is just a piece of trivia, there's a clock here where the letters are in Hebrew, and that is also the original clock. It's on a slab of marble. Uh, the time is not correct. And uh, it's very interesting. When I speak from the front, so I know exactly how long I'm talking. It's right there. <laughs> Good when the time is wrong. It's Thank you. 
Rabbi, did you yeah. ever have a sort of repainting of these yes, gold yes, things? Yes, yes, yes. Tell but, me about that. Well, mainly, I believe the last time they were just dusted. The gold was just dusted. Yeah. And everything else was painted. I don't think that gold was touched, not in the uh, press there or in the ridden underneath it. Okay. You don't think it's ever been touched? Uh, it probably has, but I'm pretty sure the last time that it was painted, that was not touched. At least the gold was, was, was fine. The pieces... The gold pieces up top, does that have anything to do with Judaism? No. Yeah, okay. Just, just decorations. Nice it's lovely. Yeah. 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 Beautiful decorations. Yeah. In fact, synagogues in Spain look Spanish. You know? I love that. <laughs> That's how you start the thing. Yeah.